Hola chicos, welcome back. All right, today we do have something special for you. We will, well right now we have some sleeves, Urshifu single strike and rapid strike. But today for the main contender, we have a sealed booster box case. Oh, where's the front label? I don't know if you can see that battle styles in English. Dun -dun. Been before, well, don't sell before March 19, 2021. Yes, we're going to be opening up a sealed booster box case, opening up all six so we can get some singles. Um, just because you know, I've been trying to sell some on eBay, lots of a hundred, and it's been going terrible. Um, on average, one pack comes out to 170. Sometimes the highest one I got was about 220. 20 to 40 a pack so we're just gonna since i have a bunch of these just gonna crack them open hope for the best that we get some good pulls and then we can make our money that way just because right now the market is saturated in sealed product it's not gonna be like that forever but for the time being it is what it is there is a payment that is that will be due so we need to get cracking So I'm curious for this box, this case, what uh, factory this comes from. Um, I will post a link where there's the M factory. Well, I always keep calling it the M factory, but the actual booster box, booster pack sleeve um, on the black in interior side, it has either an M or a non M. Um, so far, the ones with the non M are shiny and reflective. And the other ones, um, the ones with the M, or the non hollow reflective. I have no, I just saw that last week. I don't know if one is better than the other in pull rates. So it looks like for sure different printing. All right, we'll just kind of take these out. And one way you can tell, um, like I mentioned, I'll try to post a link, um, is that it is reflective. Okay, so if you look at the packs in there, so they're not reflective. So this looks like the M factory. I'm just gonna double check all of them. Yeah, I'm not sure you know what goes behind the scenes when it comes to sealed product. Does it just go everywhere? Or exactly what actually happens when they get sealed up? Or they just goes to a different packing facility and then it gets shipped out and then one case. Cause I did mention in the very first video where I caught it, um, that it was from my first wave, but I was also packaging some stuff this morning and I did run into a case that was from the hollow reflective one, the non-M. So yep, yeah, without further ado, we'll go ahead and start cracking these open. I'm just gonna put these to the side. I just... So yeah, let's see if we can beat my wholesale price for six. And... gonna go pretty quick we're just gonna go for the hits just so it's not too long but oh geez yeah this is pretty bad because it all has all like little white i don't know if that will ever damage the cards but we do have sleeves here ready to go so if we just pull something good might have to open up the other Boozer box is just kind of off the mat because yeah, that white chalk is everywhere. Okay, we'll just go ahead and actually let's just open it now. Half of them. Again, we'll just go quick. We want the ultra secret rares. I did open some this morning. I got Cheryl, full art, nice card there. As well, like I mentioned, we do have a bunch of these. We'll be having them on our website. 
And then as well, we do at the moment, maybe pull back a little bit on those really big lots, just because if I do, you know, just 10, we get back to at least $4 a pack. But in previous items, you know, um, I would wholesale and it would come out, you know, pretty decent. But right now, like I mentioned, market's just too saturated with them. So I'm not sure if we'll continue, but if we do, I'm sure we will have a couple for the, I would say at least this week for sure. And I'm pretty sure they'll go for about a dollar, dollar seventy a pack. We might switch it up and do a booster box. Hopefully sealed product long term. Maybe they'll go a little bit more at least right now because it's trending on TCG player about a hundred bucks a booster pack. So at least get 300 versus 170 like geez. And yeah, I just move over crimson battle styles is here. Nothing, but we'll, we'll just keep those. Got a little seed draw. So yeah, like I mentioned here, uh, the M Factory. Again, like in that video, I'll post a link. Everything was reflective. They just kind of, I guess, just paint it off. Oh, nice. Corina's Focus. Nice. That is a really good one. Full Art Trainer. Yeah, and 216 booster packs. Let's see what we... The goal is to at least right now beat the wholesale price. That's the minimum. That is the bar. We have to surpass the bar. Ooh, nice. Ooh. That is the bar. It's a very low bar. Actually, it's kind of a high bar, but... If I was selling a hundred for about one seventy, yeah, it's pretty bad. Okay. Cube bone. Oh, Entei, nice. Oh, back to back. Reverse and a hollow. Um, I'll, I'll put both in. Right now we're trying to cook dinner. I'm in my kitchen right now and that's the LG oven going off saying the time was that timer or Ooh, Urshifu V Max Rapid Strike. Full art. I never know which one of these is the alternate art. I just kind of look all the same. <laughs> They're all just the regular art. Ooh, 
Ooh, next Tyranitar B. Hopefully this is from one booster box, and then I, hopefully I put them like that, corresponding to which booster box they came from. So far, yep, we got Karina's full art, we got his trainer, nice. We'll put this one in there. That was the first half of that boot first booster box. Let's see the second half. Let's see how we do. Okay, we got a Steelix. I wonder if we can get the whole collection. I need like my little booklet to check what we got, what we didn't get. But I doubt it, just because, especially for the secret rares. I'm sure you need quite a few packs to get something. Oh, 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 ooh, nice, Mimikyu. Yeah, I got one of those this morning as well. We got something. We got single strike Ishifu V and core pitch reverse. Undoor go back. Victory fail. Or beetle hollow. Indeed, and we got. I don't even know how to say that. Cricketune V. Cricketune V. Kingdra. All right, after this last stack of this i'm just gonna pause it dinner's ready and i'll be right back so quick intermission all y'all won't know just because of editing and pre-recording it will simultaneously continue That's Evie right now in the background whining because she smells the food and wants wants some food, but she knows that she won't get any. Oh, nice. There's a 
that one. Evie. Evie. Oh, nice. Vintage, Vintany. Vic, B Mac. Oh. Okay, so we got our secret for there. Is that two? Sphero. Whoops. Code card. Green. Nada. All right, well, well, stay tuned. I'll be right back. Okay, so... We're back for a second time. Yep, just had dinner, Sam baked salmon, spinach, and a little bit of goat cheese crumble. Very delicious, I do recommend. But yeah, let's crack booster box number two. I don't know how well you guys can see that, okay. Yeah, in the background we have Mob Psycho from Web Shorts. pretty weird it's like this guy i think he's on a table or something getting knocked up for a girl mr mine corina's focus so we got double nice okay So yeah, we'll just put this stack over here. Uh, we'll try to have totals. I'll see if I can have the time and effort to put the totals on the screen or at least, you know, one final, you know, booster box total what, what we got. And it'll just be kind of TCG player, lowest, lowest available card, mint condition. So the lowest mint on TCG player, that's how we'll kind of judge by, you know, how good we got and what we got, yeah. Ooh, nice, Mimic you full or I like it. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> um, sad story, you know, it wants to be a Pikachu because it doesn't have attention. Never. All the Pikachus get that tension. Really sad. Hold on, let's see if it says anything special. Oh, uh, usually it says... Hmm. Another card that says, like, something about it. Jealous Eyes, that's an attack. Ente, Excellente, Corpitch. Oh, we got Galarian. I like that Galarian Slowpoke, Slowbro. Looks pretty good. I forgot what the other one is. Um, Slowbro. Dang, I forgot. I forgot what the third one is. Jeez. Curl that. Again, M Factory. Lick a tongue. Green card. Yeah, yeah, again, we got that Galarian so far. Pretty cool, just like <laughs> yellow on top. Not much of a difference. Can't really remember. Yeah, what is the third one? Ooh, V or Tyranitar. Looks like the alternative one. Single strike. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So that's two alternative arts. Oh, 
Holy moly, this is a good box. Ventany. Vincent? I don't even know how to say that. B makes. What is it? Vic T. Vic T. B Max. Green. Dead. Galarian. That's cool. V's in this one. Hmm. Okay, I think this is a really good artwork because it says, and even like the, um, the ability dangerous mucus. Like this guy is like freaking tripping. <laughs> if his eyes were pupils, yeah, he's he's gone. <laughs> he gone gone. Okay, that's the first half of that second booster box. Bunch of packs that we need. Galarian. Wait, whoa. Nope, nope. Alright, second half of the second booster box. This might be a long video, but we'll see what we get at the end if it's worth it. Again, we need to beat the wholesale cost. So I don't know what that total is. The total what? Um, 80. About like four or something that we need to be. 450? I forgot. I don't know what that is. Oh, got that one. So the range of what we should get is going to be between the wholesale cost plus the retail cost. And then within that threshold, okay, we got something. Ooh, Flabble. You know, to be in that price range. And then, of course, um, if we beat it, that ideally is to beat the retail. So, you know, hey, open up packs as well. Because, um, you know, if you do the $3.99 per pack, you could have technically just sold the packs themselves and been better off like that. So the thing is to be within that range just because, one, um, I'm, I'm okay with at least beating the wholesale. Because right now on eBay, like I mentioned, not the hottest pack at the moment. Too much saturation. That's what happens to your flowers. Um, recently, we started growing just kind of, we got coffee plants, but before that, just like other plants in general, little succulents, overwatering. And yeah, overwatering, saturation, you know, hey, um, it's good for a little while, but after a while, it you just drown your plants. Same concept, pretty straightforward, too much booster boxes or packs. Because I remember the first wave, I got what, 60, 60 booster boxes and then 24, I believe for, um, nice, nah, Tapu Coco V, what's that, I got 20, 24, Elite Trainer Boxes, and then a couple three-pack blisters with a promo card. You know, the market was all right. It was 
about 160, 150 per booster box. I don't remember what the Elite Trainer boxes were at, but I sold them on Facebook um, for just retail cost, just because I wanted to, you know, offer stuff to people, get my name out, you know, what we offer at retail, just because back then, was it last month? Um, you, you couldn't find anything. It looks like, yes, stuff is starting to improve finally. Um, don't know if that's mainly from people leaving, the demand is cooling off, or printing more. I'm not 100% sure. Can't comment on, you know, what's what. But one thing's for sure. When I would see cards at the store, Target, well, when they did have it. Battle Styles was always available. You would see Darkness of Blaze and Vivid Voltage kind of their section be to, like dwindling a lot quicker compared to Battle Styles. So barely down with the first pack, the light, the sun is going down, so we might have to change it up. And my phone is almost dying. So we'll see if we can adjust it somehow to plug it in, charge it, and record at the same time. Hopefully it doesn't die. Yamper Colossal. Yamper again. Galarian, a slow poke. Cubone. Escape rope, and yeah. So, yeah, we'll quickly go over the top ones that we got for this one. We got this, Tepo Coco. Flabble. Mm, let's put that there. That way you can see. The V Max. Alternate R. And then we got a couple Ente. Oh, wow, well, we got two bronzing. So, what? One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Hits the good stuff. All right, so give me one second. I'm gonna make brighter, turn on the light, and try to get a charger for this thing. All right, booster box number three. 36 packs here to get this stack out of the way. All right, here we go. Start up fresh. This was from the other one. Put that there. Better lighting in the area now because the sun's going down and we need a, that artificial light. The heavy breathing can sometimes be me or the dog right now in the background. She just ran and is trying to catch her breath. If you have an Australian Shepherd, then you must know that they have a lot, lot of energy. Oh, nice. Another single strike or she'll be mad. Ursha fool. Watch out, fool. Oh, come on. Two more. 
Still trying to get that Tyranitar alternate. Or, ooh. Clay doll. Tapu Blue. Bulu. Oh, nice. Empoleon V. Full art. Licky Licky, and we got Single Strike Urshifu V. Spiro, Mr. Ryan, Oh, we got something. Hundoom, nice. That all gold. Nice. I like these. I like these better than the Rainbow Rare. I think gold's always more flashy. I like the color. Has that gold luster. All right, second half. Uh, booster box number three. Another mimic you. Oh, 
core pitch. Core pitch or core pitch? <laughs> core pitch. Another Galarian slow bro. Mr. Grime. Oh, something shiny. Ho ho ho. Rapid Strike Urshifu V Max. Secret Rare. Rainbow Rare. This box might be a winner. Oh, we got a yellow code card. Oh, I see something. Flapple V Max. Full art. Yeah, that one looks cool. It looks like a little gremlin. <laughs> that was funny. Glagar. Glisgar. Hadoor. Claydol. We got Bell Sprout. It's like water hit its head and it's confused. Ooh, Flapple V. Yep, wrong pile. Cherum. Onyx taking a little nap. All right, so that is it for this booster box. This is the third one. All right, let's do a quick overview of what we got. Okay, so we got Chira, Flapple, and then Flapple V Max, Hershafu, Mimikyu, got the Luxray, Special Hondur, that one's down there. Um, that was a single strike. Napoleon, Tapu. Then we have both single strike. Okay, so these are, yeah. And then, I'm not too bad on this one. I think we did well. Um, again, but I don't know. We'll have to look up and I'll try to add together again. TCG player, low. Lowest mint played. I mean, not played, uh, mint condition. Okay, so we'll move on to the fourth. Booster box. All right, we'll set this aside. We got a bunch of trash. Good going. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, we'll just pick this one. This is the fourth one. Jeez, this is a tough one. All right, booster box number four. Okay, we got Hondo. Oh, nice, Phoebe, full art. Yeah, let's take a look at this. Centering looks good. Same with the back, actually. This might be a contender, maybe. Maybe the top's a little top heavy, but <laughs> pretty much anybody that tries to sell cards that are mint fresh, it's kind of annoying when they put it, especially on um, eBay and the listing or just even just on Facebook. PSA 10 question mark. Like, dude, get out of here. Those lines and everything look terrible. Is it a PSA 10 question mark? <laughs> like, no, it's not. Like, yes, it's packed fresh, but if it's not centered properly, then not a 10. Ooh, nice. Core pitch again. Meow stick. It's gonna be crazy taking a look, um, probably in a year from now, what the price of this booster box is gonna cost. And even the price on the cards that we do pull. Most likely they'll either, for the most part, go down just because people keep opening stuff. Some may go up just because popularity and difficult to get. But yeah, right now this booster box not the greatest at the moment. Too saturated. But who knows, maybe in the future, it will dry up quickly. Oh, another Mimikyu. And prices could go up. And imagine if this was like Evos, just opening them up like crazy. Because that's how it was 
Well, I wasn't there for the Evolution booster packs when they first came out, but it's just like any pack. $3.99, you pay your retail. Over time, the value goes up. So who knows, probably in a year or two, just opening a bunch. I'd say probably like in five years for sure. That's when you would be like, holy crap. The cards, the sealed product, the booster box to the packs to the actual cards. Yeah, right now, the cards may be worth a little bit more, but for sure over time, the sealed product will win. If it goes to like, you know, 200, 200 a booster, booster box, that's 1,200 right there. 1200 and we're just barely trying to crack open more than 400 bucks and we'll be happy with that So yeah, it's better to crack them open right now While they're cheap and you know, you don't care because that's how I feel right now. don't care if just cracking these open. Cause I've sold other ones, like especially when it comes to Cosmic Eclipse. Yeah, right now those are trending, what, about 10 bucks a pack. That is just insane. I think the lowest I ever sold them, I think it came out one time, came out to $4, maybe $5 a pack. Cause it was 400 something. My account got on eBay. Um, I needed to show proof of receipts of where I purchased it and my account got suspended for I think like two weeks yeah and I guess it locked in the last bid and other people couldn't bid and it was just ridiculous I I didn't really know that until I got messages in different products that saying they kept saying hey I can't bid on your on your post, especially for stuff that was like already ending and it was at very low value. It was just ridiculous. It was, before, when I knew what was already going on, it was already too late. I should have, when that happens, you know, just canceled it and not waited to like, let's say the person already paid for it. It's like, no, I should have done it before. It was like when we had at least a day or day or two Versus just trying to cancel at the last minute. And yeah, so I ended up fulfilling some orders. Darkness of Blaze. Yeah, that's how I got Crimson. I think Crimson too was the super cheap one. That one came out to like 250 or whatever. And I think Champion's Path fulfilled that one too. Let's see what else? I think Hidden Fate. Luckily, that got up to 117, so that's not too bad. But, ooh, nice. Alternate. Victini. I like that blue. Blue, purple. Yeah, so I submitted all that information, everything. I just had to wait. It kept trying to call customer service. They said, yep, they'll review it, blah, blah, blah. Finally got an email a notification on eBay saying, oh, your information isn't good enough. I'm like, what do you mean it's not good enough? That's exactly what you asked for. I updated the tracking numbers that you requested. Because I guess you, I guess that too, you had to show that you were getting money and they were actually you were sending out a product to that zip code. I don't know, for money laundering or something. I have no idea what what type of security systems they have in place. But anyways, it triggered it. But yeah, those two months we were selling quite a bit. And a dormant account. That account's 10 years old. And a dormant account all of a sudden yeah, I had to submit, I think, three 
in total probably like three requests of how much you can sell in a month um so yeah i triggered some alarms and whatever oh nice another flapple but we're back i was very mad for a while though just because I wasn't able to sell anything, and I was just like, come on. So that's why we insisted on trying to get a website just for trying to sell stuff. Because we did TCG Player, but TCG Player is good. But the fees are a little bit higher, and you do have to wait about, depending on what pay cycle you're on in lands, it can take, I would say, about a week to... I think two weeks. I don't know, it just depends as well when it gets delivered. Again, what pay cycle, but I would say on average about week to two weeks for the money to clear, and then it's just like, no, I need it now, reinvest it. Can't wait that long. Okay, so for this one, we'll go quickly, what did we get? Okay, so we got Phoebe, we got Hondoom. Let's put the V's there. Let's go to this. Flabble. Luxury. Another Kingdra. Empoleon V. Tapu Blue. Tapu Coco V. And a Mimic. All right. And let's move on to the second to last of Booster Box. Mm. Oh. Hopefully we get it this time. Pretty hard stuff, jeez. Mm. Yeah, I bet they use good they use Dirty plastic. Just so it doesn't rip on people. People are so, especially for collect, not collectors in general, but just kind of, you need to have a pristine sealed, especially booster boxes. All right, here we go. Come on. You gotta power through this. Got one more box. 216 booster packs. Um, I don't know what that comes out to. I think. For the retail price point of $3.99. Oh, okay, we got that. But who knows, in a year from now. Hopefully it doubles, that'd be cool. But just, yeah, over time, sealed product. So one-way street. So this is what we're doing. Sealed booster boxes to the packs. Where'd it go here? To the singles. Yamper. Mm. Octillery. Oh, we did it. Ooh, another flapple. Jeez, was that three back to back? Wow. Three back to back on all the booster boxes. Sunduli. Rapid Strike. Mm. 
Oh, nice. Necrozama. Necrozma. Necrozma. Home Ditch Reverse. Oh, nice. We got another one. Kirk Tomb. Got a little mustache going. <laughs> is that like a little sword? Oh, I don't know what he got in his hand. A little scimitar. He's gonna cut you up. Bolton, Bolton. All right, better open up another one. We'll do the blue guy. Mr. Rhyme, Mr. Grime. Oh, we got something. Another one. Wow. Come on. We gotta get some of the good stuff. Give me something new. Give me that Tyranitar. Alright, this is gonna have the Tyranitar V alternate art. Core pitch. Show car. Nope, green, damn. Dang it. Dang, never. It. Colossal. Oh, Ente. Nice. It's usually really fun opening up packs. That's what I really enjoy. But like now, after opening up so many, I wonder if I can finally get it out of my system. Because that sucks. We've, we've opened a bunch. Um, and, you know, not all of them are winners. And, we you know, we could have sold them. But hopefully this, now that I keep having opening them, it's like bam, bam, bam. Or you just get tired and like, Nope, I don't have to open another one, and you can actually be okay if not having sealed product. Because that's one of the most difficult things for anybody. Just kind of, well, I've heard and seen on Facebook, where it's like either you you share it, either, I don't know, like you sell or just keep it, you know, like a sealed collection. Or you just kind of leave it. And or you rip it open, and that's kind of like the typical, like what's in there, especially if you know Champion's Path. Do you have? Ooh, 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 ooh! Wow, back to back. That's nice. Reverse and then Rainbow Rare Corina's Focus. You know who knows? That could be a Charizard in that Champion's Path or Fat Pikachu in the Elite Trainer Box. You never know. Core pitch. <gasps> Bam! We got him. We got him. <laughs> okay, we got him. All right, let's pack it up. We're done. Tyranitar V. Alternate art. 
Okay, um, I guess we can call it a day. Is he supposed to be sleeping? No, but <laughs> it's a different artwork. Oh. Finally got it. Uh, it looks pretty good. I don't see anything bad on it. No whitening. Oh, it is off-centered in the back. I don't know if you can see that. Dang it. It ain't a PSA 10 question mark. I don't know. <laughs> That's what everybody says. Oh, heck no. There's actually some pink dots on here. What? Wow. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. Right there. It's like right here and then right there it's like something but at least we got it though like i said all right we're done see you next time all right no nah, i'm just kidding we're still gonna open a bunch <laughs> don't be fooled everybody wants to open up more packs what kind of thinking is that leaving sealed product heck no you opened that that pack, that booster box, that Charizard in there. <laughs> Dang, I can't believe we actually got it. We'll just keep it right there. Here. These were back to back. Right there. We'll put them in the background right there. I always like when you get something really good, especially like in the beginning, and you just, ooh, nice. Trying to test your luck where it's like, okay, okay, can we top this? Can we get something better, more? Usually not, because there's like a ratio when it comes to whatever Pokemon, and they're given randomness. Like, I'm sure there's like a spectrum where it's like, okay, you get you can get this much, but you can't get all of it and it just falls either you can under average average above average but never too skewed just because i don't know it's just in their nature the way of life we got that Torinator. PSA 10? Question mark? Oh my god, that just... <laughs> I just hate when they say that. It's like... No, it's not. <laughs> like, we trying to fool. I guess maybe when someone puts it in the search bar, PSA 10, then I guess that helps. But just literally everybody that pulls it. It's like, PSA 10. It's like... Yeah, they, yeah, they put it. Question mark. It's all like, and I wonder if it's not even pack fresh. Well, not pack fresh, but like, which one's my shiny one? Did I already put it down? Um, yeah. What if they've had it for a while? And they just PSA ten. <laughs> okay, so the fifth booster box was a hit. We'll quickly go over on what did we get. So, obviously, Tarantar and Karina's Focus Secret. Um, let's put the Vs there, the VMAX, and um, that one. Let's put that a little bit more down. Got the Entei, the V, another V. E or Beetle, V Max, the V, and that. Well, yeah, not too bad. You got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. Definitely good box. Good pulls on that one. Okay, the final booster box. Can we top? You know, we did get a Flapple back-to-back. -back, three of them. Can we get Tyranitar V back-to-back? -back? Will we get it? Ugh, 
come on. Okay, here we go. Where's the lucky side? Let's start with the left side first this time. Okay, we'll try to move that bulk out of the way. Without further ado, let's begin. Final booster box of the night. Oh, uh, we got something. We got a Rapid Strike Urshifu V. Got that onyx in the background. Yeah, all that white does. I don't know if it does affect it for the most part, but. It'd be nice to show you right now. There's just so much trash. So I'll try to get a video and put it in, but I have a trash bag here and there's, it's a lot of packs. <laughs> Allegedly, it is about 400, um, one in 400 to get that Tyranitar B. And I would say that's about right. We have opened about 400 or so packs and we just barely got one. Rapid Strike or Shufu Remix. Another Victini. Tini. Victini. Victini V. Mini Pikachu, Steelix, Churum. Got that timber. Trying to, he's building a home right now. He's very upset because the price of lumber keeps going up and it's getting expensive. He just wants a two-story modern house, but he can't. Horsey. Tough times, 2021. and Scorch. Spoink. Oh, nice. Necrozma. Alternate full art V. Lado got Cheryl Sherry Oh nice level ball secret I mean not secret just the gold rear nice I like that 
Is it PSA 10 worthy? Yep. Mm hmm. Look, one everybody on eBay. PSA 10 right here. <laughs> <laughs> PSA 10. It's a little off center. Uh, wait. Mm. Let's look at the back. It's a little off center, but according to eBay, it's a PSA 10 question mark. No doubt. Got a little buggy. Cacnea, Bell Sprout. Okay. All right. Second half. We're on the final stretch. We got this. One more Tyranitar. We'll pack that later. Save that later. One more Tyranitar. We'll call it a night for sure. Yep. Napoleon V. Power. Okay, we'll, we'll start doing this now. So yeah, we'll get the totals for all the good cards that we sleeved as of tonight, June 1st. And of course, you know, it changes here and there, but as of June, June 1st, this is what the price holds. So we'll see how well we did on each booster box and case in total. So I would say at least 100 for the Tyranitar V. Ooh, nice, another one. But remember guys, it's a PSA 10, question mark. So that could have paid for the whole case. Whoa, this one's upside down. Whoa, ho, ho. Whoa, these are misprints. Do you see that? That sl Galarian Slowpoke didn't get cut and it's, and it's just pointy and just on that side. And this one was upside down. Whoa, we got misprint. We will sleeve this one because it has a little extra. A little more to love. Yeah, look at that. It looks like it tried to cut it, but it wasn't. There we go. It tried to cut the card, but it didn't cut. Well, yep, we're sleeving this one. This is a misprint. Oh, and something else right here. There's like a line, damage line. Now just mentioning Slowpoke, one of my favorites. Yeah, well, who knows what that's worth. Wait, holy crap. I got three. Three Mr. Mimes in a single pack. <laughs> well, okay, this. We got Kingdra. Let's see what else have we got. Anything. Nope, just XP shares. Anything out of the norm. Nope, just three of those. Okay. And a misprint, miscut Galarian Slowpoke. Look at it. If you just look at it, he's actually looking at the cut. He's like, whoa. These were probably manufactured, I would say, two, three months beforehand. And he's just barely noticing that. Another Mr. Mime. Gligar. 
on door. Come on, this one. Get some good ones. Hondoom. Single strike. Well, we got something. Tyranitar V. Not an alternate art, but hey, I guess that's what we've been wanting to get. So we got one. Final stretch, Mankey, all right, let's see, green. Okay, second to last pack, Mr. Mime again. Spoink, Galarian, Slowbro. All right, final pack, final pack. All right, first let's just seal and protect this. All right. Final pack. We'll go slow on this one. Ugh. We'll see what we get. Okay. Okay. We got a Cherum. Cherbu. Let's see. Ooh. And it's green. Dang it. Okay. A trainer. Nice. We'll do a trainer. Jammer. Mustard. Rapid strike style. All right. Here we'll just... Uh, no, we'll just put this one to the side. Put this. Yeah, we'll go over what we have gotten. For this last booster box. So yes, misprint. I call that a win for there for this one. That gets added. That's just a regular. The V. Regular ones. The level ball. Alternate V. Regular, regular V. V max, so we got two V maxes, four V, five, and another V. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. All right, so yeah, I'll have the totals. We'll see if we won or if we lost.